98% of Arizona's energy comes from solar. But what happens when your solar panels reach their end of life? Cronkite News reporter Peyton Major found researchers and a business that are giving old panels a new purpose. Solar panels are expected to contribute 8 million tons of waste by 2030, according to the International Renewable Energy Agency. So it's now more important than ever to recycle panels sustainably, and Arizona is one of the states leading this effort. Yeah. So what happens when a solar panel reaches the end of its 20 to 30 year lifespan? Well, the last place it should end up is in a landfill. That's why an Arizona State University professor and his team are working on a technology to salvage the panel's precious metals, such as silicon, silver, and even lead. I am working on increasing the recovery rates of the lead. We don't want this ending up in our environment, in our groundwater, things like that. And with a $485,000 grant from the Department of Energy, Meng Tao is hoping to revolutionize the solar panel recycling industry using chemicals to break down high-value metals. We want to recover all the materials contained in solar panels and then we can reuse these materials in remaking, uh, remaking new solar panels. A WeRecycle solar facility in Yuma salvages these high-value materials without chemicals. Normally, they process up to 2,500 panels a day, removing the aluminum frame and glass exteriors. However, issues related to the pandemic have workers recycling by hand. The supply chain issues have been very painful for us. We're on a 24-week delay that we just got informed about this morning for one of our main pieces of power equipment. Until their power equipment arrives, the team won't have fully automatic operations. The equipment is useful for breaking down materials to be used in solar panels. But it, we make it our goal to avoid landfill for at least 95% of what comes in the door here. While their plant in Yuma continues to recycle hands-on, Arizona State University will work microscopically to ensure solar energy remains sustainable.